back to another video. I hope you're all doing okay. We are going to be doing some autumn designs in this video. I've tried to keep them as simple as possible. Um, so they are super beginner friendly. Um, but even though they're super simple and really easy to do, they're still so, like literally such nice autumn designs. Um, I absolutely love them. So these are basically some recaps of my Instagram, um, some sets that I create for my Instagram. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'll pop my little Instagram handle at the bottom so you can go on and have a nosy. Um, that's where all of my nail pictures are and YouTube is kind of like the behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I've basically gone through a few sets that I've created on my Instagram recently and just basically done like a little tutorial as to how I did my nail art. Um, I am quite of like a minimalistic kind of nail tech really, I suppose. Um, I kind of just like minimalistic but cute kind of sets. Um, I don't really go too in depth to, because I am pretty rubbish at art, I'm not gonna lie. Like even though I've been doing nails now for like two years, I'm still pretty rubbish at art, I'm not gonna lie. So um, yeah, even though it's beginner friendly, it is also friendly for basically those who are not very advanced in the art area, because that is me. I am pretty rubbish and I like to keep things simple. So basically this video is to give you guys a little bit of guidance, um, especially if you don't know where to start with the autumn sets and maybe you're just new at doing nails or whether you're advanced, but kind of not really not really doing too much nail art. This video is for you. I hope you find it helpful. I will stop waffling now and we will get into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do my designs on these swatch sticks. Um, these were originally stiletto ones and I've just trimmed them down um, just to make like a square shape, just because um, a lot of my designs are on square um, or coffin. Um, so I thought I'd just cut them down just so that my designs can look a little bit more like, not realistic, but basically how I would do them. Um, so I've just trimmed them down um, and basically what I'm gonna do on all of these is I'm just going to give them a base layer of marshmallow by the gel bottle. So I am gonna do that now. Um, it'll probably need two coats. Um, so I'm just gonna give them all a base uh, layer of marshmallow. Obviously, if you're doing this design, you can use whatever base layer you like, uh, but this is basically my go-to for when I'm doing designs and stuff. If it's uh, just a gel, normally if it's Biab, I'll use the Biab base. Um, so yeah, I'll go in and do my two layers of that now, and then I'll come back to you once they're done. So I've just done my first layer. I'm just gonna set those under the lamp now for 60 seconds and then do the second layer. Right, so that's the second layer done. I'm just gonna pop those to set again for 60 seconds. So the first design we're gonna do um, is 
the kind of like i've this design reminds me of like little autumn fireworks that is kind of like the caption i used on my instagram when i posted these um it is a really really simple but yet really effective design and um, what i've done is i've swatched my not swatched i've decanted my colors onto my um gel palette which is looking disgusting i really need to get a new one <laughs> um so the colors that i've used are uh eve by the gel bottle these are all um the gel bottle colors i just need to make sure the lids are <laughs> screwed on before i turn them upside down because that would not be cute um art deco this one is mocha and the last one is brunette now these colours, just looking at them together, just go so, so well together. I always tend to go for these as my colour combos um, when I'm using them all, like if I want to use like more than one kind of um, colour, if that makes sense. So basically, what I first do is I get my fine liner. So this is the Nobu fine liner. Um, it is the double-ended one, so I've got the 15mm uh, and the 20mm on the other side, but I'm using the 15mm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of the colour on my brush, and I'm literally just going to start off from the bottom and do brush strokes upwards. And what you want to do is you want to be making sure that you're lifting off towards the end so that you kind of get a little bit of like a lighter flick, if that makes sense. Um, and what you want to do is just kind of do either three or four, um, just like that, because we're going to be going in with the other colours as well. So what you want to do is between each colour is just set that. I just do like a flash cure for about 10 seconds, um, just so that they don't, the colours don't bleed into each other, because we're going to be going in and pretty much overlapping with the other, other colours. So I've just given my brush a little wipe down and I'm going to go in now with brunette. So that is like the second to darkest one. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm just going to go in next to that and just create little brush strokes upwards. Just try and keep them all different lengths. They don't all have to be the same length. That kind of adds to it if, it, if that makes sense. Um, again, not going too crazy, not doing too many because you've got to remember we have got four colours to get through. Um, so I'm just going to set that again, just flash cure that for 10 seconds before I go in with my next one. I do try and keep the glitter till last just because then you can kind of fill in any gaps where you think uh, the placement of it will look better. Uh, so now I'm going in with Eve, which is the lighter one. And you can kind of go into this remembering that you have got another colour to leave a few gaps. And this is then when I'm going to go in with the last one, which is Art Deco. And you'll see that I've left a few gaps. So I'm just going to go in into them few gaps and pop my glitter in. Like so. And that just makes a really, really nice, cute little design. Um, obviously, it's pretty hard to tell on the swatch stick. So I have got a picture of this, what this looks like as a full set. And I will pop it in a, um, a little slideshow bit um, just after this bit so that you guys can see what it looks like as a full set. So the next one I'm going to show you guys is kind of a similar kind of method but using it as kind of like an abstract um method rather than like the placement will be a little bit different so i'm going to stick with the um same colors but what i'm going to do is i am not going to use um i'm not going to use eve this time i'm just going to use um what was this one again i'm just going to use mocha brunette and art deco and what i'm going to do with these is i'm just kind of going to go in with little brush strokes again so again using your fine liner if you haven't got a fine liner literally invest in one i use a fine liner at every single appointment like every single one so if you haven't got one go and get one um so yeah like i say what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up quite a little bit on my brush and i'm just going to start going in with tiny little brush strokes like this 
just randomly around the nail. Like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that for 10 seconds. Like I say, when I'm using more than one colour, I'll just flash cure it uh, for 10 seconds because as well, if you mess up, then at least you can wipe off and not be wiping away all of your work, if that makes sense. So I'm just wiping my brush between um, colours, obviously, just giving, the, giving it a wipe down. And let me just focus the camera, hello. <laughs> There we go. So then next I'm gonna go in with brunette. And what I'm gonna do is I'm kind of just gonna overlap it the tiniest little bit at the bottom like that. Again, this is such a simple, easy kind of nail art design, but is really, really effective. And I'm just gonna overlap them slightly like that. and pop that under the lamp again. I've just given my brush another wipe down and I'm gonna go in with the glitter. And I'm just basically gonna do the exact same thing and just adjoin those like that. I feel like when you're doing designs with more than one color, I think adding a glitter just makes it all tied together so, so nicely and just finishes it off perfectly. And like this design, as well as the one that I did previously, you don't have to do it with autumn colours. I've done them with pinks, purples, browns, like all different colours and they all look so, so lush. I just pick a kind of brighter, say for example, we're doing pinks, I'd pick a brighter pink, a paler pink and then a glitter. And honestly, it just looks really, really nice. So I'm just gonna set that again for 10 seconds under the lamp. And then what we're gonna do after, so to finish this one off nicely, we are going to grab um, a white. So this is Daisy. I'm just gonna decant a tiny little bit onto my palette. And I'm gonna grab a dotting tool. So with the smallest end of your dotting tool, what I do is I just like to fill in any little gaps with a little polka dot, if you like, of white. And that just ties that in really, really nicely. And that is the final look. And I have done this with a full set um, with the two feature nails like this and then a full colour of mocha and I'll pop a picture in of what that looks like on the next slide. So for the next design, what you're gonna need is some blooming gel. Now the example I'm gonna show is um, with this design is in the colour mocha. Um, but again, this is another design that looks absolutely amazing in any colour. Um, now, I have done a full set like this. Um, so a full kind of like croc print nail. Um, but what I've really liked recently is just kind of like a side... Oh, just dropped my brush. Um, kind of like a side kind of croc print, if that makes sense. I mean, it'll make sense when I start doing the design. <laughs> but basically... Basically, what I like to do is I'm going to pick my darkest colour that is swatched, not swatched, decanted. That's the second time I've said that by accident. Um, and what I do is I just pick one side of the nail and I basically do like a little gradient. So I'll get my lines longer as I move towards the bottom. And this just creates a really, really subtle not full croc print nail um but just like a little a little side design if that makes sense um and this will start blooming out 
and this just looks really really lush with a as part of a full set so i did this um as part of a set i think i did one nail with this one nail full crop print and um some french and some full color i think so i will pop a little picture in um of what that set looked like So the next design I'm going to show you is also with Blooming Gel and also with these colours. So literally all of these designs can be created with just a few colours. You don't need loads of, loads of different colours. Like honestly, you can do it with whatever colours you've got. So I'm going to do another layer of the Blooming Gel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my um, dotting tool again. And with the colours that I've got on my palette, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start mixing these together. So get some of the glitter in there, get some of the, um, you know, the lighter um, browns and the glitter. And I'm gonna get a brush. It doesn't matter what kind of brush you use. Um, I'm just using this angled one, but like I say, it really, really doesn't matter as long as you can pick up the colors. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pick those colors up on your palette and place them onto the nail quite slowly because you don't want them to all to kind of like muddle together and if you basically start your placement and think you're lacking a colour just pick that up on your brush and basically just have a little mess around with it until you're happy now one thing you do have to um watch out for when you're doing this kind of design is that you're not picking up too much gel because if you do find you're picking up too much gel, what it'll do is it won't set under the lamp and it will kind of like not peel off, but if it catches, um, you'll be able to tell that the gel's not set and it can come off quite easy. So you have to make sure you're not picking up too much colour. Um, but yeah, this Bloom and Gel design with these colours, you can see the marble in there. It just looks absolutely amazing. I love it so, so much. Um, and I have got a picture of what this looks like as a full set and I will pop it on the next slide. So for this last design, the colours that you're going to uh, need are Jet Black, Chocolate and G001, which is like a glass yellow. Um, so these are Torty side tips. I have done a, a video of full Torty nails, which I'll link in the corner if you are needing like a full tutorial of how to do full nails. But this is just kind of like a, a side tip um, design. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some glass yellow on my palette and then you're going to need then um your chocolate and what we're going to do is we're going to mix these together but the only thing is don't use too much chocolate because you don't want it to be too um too dark so just use quite quite a small amount um of the chocolate and what we're going to do is we're going to mix those together to make a like a caramel color so just mix those together with your dotting tool like that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean off my brush and i'm going to grab my swatch that i did earlier and like i say in this one we're just going to do some side tips so i'll show you what the set looks like um as a full set at the end but basically what i did is i just like to um grab my fine liner again and just kind of make a little side tip like this like that and what we're going to do is um normally i would set this and do another layer but as it's only a small amount um I don't really think we're going to need two layers. Um, like I say, if it was a full nail, I would, but I don't think we're going to need it in this one. Um, like I say, just because it's a small area that we're doing it in. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to decant a little bit of chocolate on its own. And I'm going to grab my fine liner, give it a little clean off. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to just do tiny little sections of chocolate. This is uncured. So this um, base of the caramel colour is uncured. You need to make sure that you are keeping it uncured. And you're just going to add that in to the, the tip. In just little small sections like so and then what we're going to do is we're then going to put this under the lamp um, and set that for 30 seconds so whilst that's setting i've just decanted a little bit of black and a little bit of the glass yellow all separate on the palette so that they are ready to use when I need them. So I'm going to pull this out now and then basically where the patches of um, brown are, I'm going to grab my dotting tool again and I'm just going to give them a little bit of black over the little brown patches that I've done. And that just gives it like a bit of a, a shine to the design, like the the little tortoiseshell patches just gives that a little bit of a, a shine and makes it stand out a little bit more so i'm going to set that under the lamp for 30 seconds and then to finish that off i'm just going to pick up the glass yellow on its own and give that a final little layer over the top of the design which just gives it the finish off shine that it needs and then that is all done so i'm going to set that under the lamp for um 60 seconds before i top coat that and i will also show you what it looks like as a full set in the next slide So there you go guys that is the designs that we're going to cover in this video if there are any other designs that you see on my instagram and you want a tutorial for just let me know or if there is anything that you guys want to see from me in the coming weeks then just drop me a comment or message me on instagram and let me know what you're struggling with and i will try and make a video for it if i haven't already done one um so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you got to the end thank you so so much if you um are subscribed then thank you so much but if you're not then if you could press the subscribe button that would be absolutely amazing thank you and i will see you guys in the next video bye